All right, here it is. This is our crazy experiment. It's not pretty, but it's effective. Tape the water onto here. This is our cold in water. Our cold in water is coming in at 1.5 gallons. We figured that out by measuring it with a gallon jug, marking how long it would take to get to half a gallon, which it should be 20 seconds at 1.5 gallons per minute. And so once we figured that out for the cold water, we did the same thing, there it is. We did the same thing for the hot water. Here's my trusty assistant. Yep, exactly. Did the same thing for the hot water over here. So we have 1.5 gallons coming in at hot water and we have 1.5 gallons coming in at cold water right here. So the cold water is traveling that way. Hot water is coming in from the shower this way. We measured the temperature to get it stabilized at 98 degrees while still traveling at 1.5 gallons. So it's going from 98 degrees from over there then all the way coming out over here and then the cold water is going this way and coming out right there where we're able to measure it and so that's pretty much it and this is our results right here where you can see our starting temperature was 98 and 73 for the cold water going in and then you can see the temperature fluctuations there and then we did it we stopped we remeasured to see if it was still working and it was still at 98 and then 72, so the water got a little colder. We retested one more time and then we did it the whole thing again. And we averaged about really, you know, a 1.5, a 1 or 1.5 degree change. Definitely a 1 degree change, which is pretty amazing considering the temperature differential is actually pretty minute. So there it is. Say goodbye. Goodbye.